Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful and kind of nighttime Atlanta, Georgia. Today is March the 11th, 2022. And on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Mow and Go ramp system for your pickup truck. So I've already taken the ramp out of the box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the ramp. I'm going to wipe it down with acetone and then I'm going to prime it and then I'm going to paint it. So that's the boxes that it came in. Um, it's a two piece bifold ramp. If you're not familiar with it. I've got uh, some pieces there. I've got two of the uh, dovetail parts and that's the part that actually goes on the truck. I will show you everything. Uh, I'm just going to run this time lapse of painting. Just real quick, you don't want to watch me paint this. Or do you? You don't. Anyway, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the uh, Rust-Oleum Professional. I'll show you the cans um, when I right before I do it. Uh, but I do want I do want it to uh, to look nice. You can get these powder coated for an extra three hundred dollars, I think. But this is just the bare metal, and you know it's going to rust really quick. From the moisture so you, you need to paint it so just going to paint it regular rustolian professional gloss black uh we'll do two coats of each so anyway let me set the camera up on a tripod and time lapse and if you want to watch me wipe down some ramps and paint them have at it or skip forward to where i'm actually installing it thank you So this is why this was perfectly clean. This is why you use acetone. All right, so obviously uh, remove the tailgate to whatever pickup truck you have. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to take our hitch L bracket, which is right here. There'll be uh, two bolts here. We're just going to leave these. You're going to remove this bolt out of here. And if your hitch is like mine, there's probably going to be two holes in the hitch itself. Um, one of them is a smaller hole than the other. Just put that in finger tight. All right. Next, you're going to take your uh, dovetail adapter, just let that slide down in there for a minute. And what you want to do is, you want to go ahead and lift this up and kind of sight along the uh, area right here. You want this to be just a little higher than the edge of the bed. Okay. So I've just got that in, just finger tight. All right, so next, we're going to take the uh, dovetail and I'm going to lay the uh, center bar right into the uh, neck right there. So it's gonna be higher, obviously. Now, before I go any further, I am going to test my lights. All right, next, I'm going to take the two large bolts for the gooseneck. And it's going to go through this uh, hole here. The hole is slotted in this tube the square tube. After I loosen this nut right here, I'm just going to put my leg right here. Well, let's do it this way. It's going to drop down. Okay. That's exactly what we're doing. Okay. And what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to center this. Okay. I'm going to take a pry bar and I'm going to pry between the expanded metal on 
on the head of this bolt right here. Okay, see how it now is nice and tight. So I'm going to go ahead and jam this one, the top nut down, or bolt. That should be tight, tight, tight. All right, it's not going anywhere. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and tighten this bolt. Bolt. So both these bolts are tight, both of these bolts and this bolt. All right, the next step is we need to put the tail um, sides on. So you're going to see there is an L channel right here, and that's just going to line up. These are not interchangeable, there's a right and a left. Fit. Just like that. Ginger's coming to help. Alright, so I'm going to take these giant bolts right here. There's four of them. The lock nut and a fender washer. And I'm going to put them down. Next, we're going to put ramp number one. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and grease the two um, shafts there just to keep that from rusting out. All right, now we're going to, uh, I've got the two pivot points greased. Make sure you put this on the correct way. There are two pins and you uh, could probably put it on backwards. There we go. Take the two jam nuts and the washer, and this will present, prevent this from uh, coming off. All right. All right. Next, I'm going to put on the second ramp, and I've already pop riveted temporarily my sign to the back. So you're not going to have this sign, but. All right, next we're going to put the spring assist on. This is a massive, you got two eye bolts, they've got 19 millimeter nuts on them. So there should be a hole in the dovetail right 